Do you ever receive phantom phone messages, imagined sounds or vibrations from your pocket? Do you sleep with your phone within arm's reach, like 90% of under 30s? You might, like more than half of Britons, suffer from nomophobia, anxiety at being out of phone contact. Your body is trying to tell you something, and it's not good news. If your phone is switched on, the very act of not checking it puts you under pressure. Your brain is unconsciously eager to handle your device, and suppressing this takes effort. In a famous 1996 experiment, psychologist Roy Baumeister allowed some volunteers to eat a display of freshly baked cookies, while others were told to resist temptation. Later, those who had resisted gave up more than twice as quickly as the others when faced with a difficult task. They simply had less willpower left. We've seen this result time and time again. The very act of resisting temptation takes a toll. And this matters a great deal when it comes to technology. Are your unread emails hovering in a background browser tab? This reduces your effective IQ by 10 points. Your mind literally has fewer resources to spare. Now, technology isn't toxic. Your phone is not a brain cigarette, and nor are most of us addicts. But it is seductive. I think you're cute. And calibrated to entice. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are casinos. Your time is their money. Just one more click, another like, another link. But here's the thing. You're pricing yourself too cheap. Your willpower, your attention, these are limited resources. And others are only too good at spending them for you. Consider multitasking, a word invented to describe what computers do. Human brains can't actually multitask. At MIT, research by Earl Miller and others has shown that what we really do is switch rapidly between tasks. We get instant gratification from accomplishing something, a tiny email, a link clicked, while we steadily become less effective. Like a punter playing a slot machine, we start to need the short-term rush while the long-term slips out of view. When faced with a difficult question, writes Nobel laureate Daniel Kahneman. We often answer an easier one instead, usually without noticing the substitution. Don't let your life become a series of answers to questions that aren't worth answering. Demand a great relationship with tech by spending at least a little time apart. There are basic economic principles that everybody knows, but no one is ever allowed to talk about. Today I want to talk about one. Let's call it the Peter-Paul principle. 